In this video, we will discuss easements by necessity. In an easement, someone is allowed to use someone else's land for a certain purpose, such as Ellie here, whose easement allowed her to walk through Ollie's property. In an easement by necessity, first, we need severance of unity or severance of title, which we'll explain in a moment, and also a necessity for the easement at the time of the severance, which we'll also explain. Severance of title basically means at one point the property was owned by only one person, but now the property's been divided among more than one person. And here necessity of the easement means one person really needs the easement. It's absolutely necessary. So here's a piece of land surrounded on three sides by trees and it's adjacent to a public road. And this land is owned by Ollie. He has a house on the east next to the road and a cabin in the back on the west side of the property. But one day Ollie decides to sell the cabin on the west and the land that it's on to Ellie. So now Ellie has title to the land on the west and Ollie still has his title to the land on the east. Well, the next day Ellie decides to go to work, so she cuts through Ollie's property to get to the public street. Ollie gets upset about this, though, and he tells Ellie not to trespass on his property. Ellie protests that she didn't have a choice, and she didn't. The trees completely cut off any other route. It was absolutely necessary for her to cut through Ollie's property if she was going to get to the road. And then it occurs to Ellie, perhaps I have an easement by necessity. Well, remember, the first thing that we need is severance of unity or severance of title. Now, at the beginning of our story, only Ollie owned the land. Only Ollie had title to the property. But then title to the property was severed. Ellie acquired a portion of the property. That sale was severance of unity, severance of title. That satisfies our first requirement. Our second requirement is a necessity for the easement. So let's look at the time of the sale when Ellie acquired the western portion of this property. At that point, it was absolutely necessary for Ellie to pass through Ollie's property if she wanted to reach the road. When Ellie walks through Ollie's property, she's doing it because she has to. Crossing the property was absolutely necessary if she was going to reach a public road. So now we have severance of title and the easement was necessary at the time of the severance. Ellie should have an easement by necessity to cross through Ollie's property to reach the road. If you'd like to discuss easements or any other matter related to U.S. law, stop by my website and please visit my blog.